and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this super fun and colorful festival makeup look. As you all know, music festival season is right around the corner and Coachella's coming up and all these fun festivals and I thought that would be super appropriate to film this look for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the little notification so you guys can be notified every single time I post and join my little fam. I did get inspiration from a lot of things such as Pinterest and Instagram and one of my favorite Instagram you guys should definitely follow her if you guys don't know who she is already by Burkel I was inspired by her to create this look of course I added my own touches But you have to give credit where it's due So I was inspired by her and a lot of other like random Pinterest things that I decided to put together I love the way this look turned out I really do hope you guys enjoy and if by any chance you guys recreate it Make sure to send it to me on Twitter Instagram or snapchat. I always have those social media linked in the down bar so Without further ado, let's get into this super fun and colorful music festival look. So to start off this look, I already have my eyebrows filled in. If you guys want to see how I fill in my eyebrows, I did a whole in-depth video on that. I will have it linked in the description of this video, so definitely check it out if you guys want to see how I fill in my eyebrows. So I'm going to be going into the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange and putting that into my crease with a fluffy blending brush as a transition shade. Then I'm also going to be taking a clean blending brush and making sure everything is nice and blended. Key, key, key. Blend, blend, blend. Now, as you saw, my Kylie shadow fill out so let's just take a moment Now I'm going to be going into this little Kylie duo as you guys saw one of the eyeshadows totally cracked and broke But I'm going to be taking this beautiful shade called a love letter and it is this super vibrant pink color I am so in love and I'm just going to be blending this into my crease and my outer V Then I'm going to be going into another little Kylie duo and taking this a lighter pink shade and just applying that right above my crease Just so I have a nice smooth transition from that bright pink to the brow bone highlight that I'm gonna be using So it's not just like oh the vibrant pink then the brow bone highlight if that makes sense I like creating kind of a nice transition then I'm just going to be applying some concealer on my lid just to create kind of like a cut crease and just to make sure that the eyeshadow that I use come out more vibrantly so I'm going to be taking this beautiful yellow that I got from NYX oh my goodness it is so beautiful and vibrant it is just this matte vibrant yellow and you do have to build up the pigmentation but again it is so pretty and if you guys know I'm not a huge fan of yellow but this yellow is so beautiful so I just apply that all over my lid now going back into this NYX quad I'm going to be taking this darker shade of pink and just applying that to my outer V and crease just to blend the yellow and the pink together now I'm going to be going and applying some glitter so I'm going to be taking some NYX glitter glue and first applying that right above where I have the yellow eyeshadow then I'm going to be taking this beautiful glitter in the shade 7 and just applying that right where I applied the glitter glue which is right above the yellow and I love 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 how this glitter looks like it just picks up the light so beautiful Beautifully and I love it now to highlight underneath my brow bone I'm going to be taking the shade snow from my Lorac Pearl palette Which I love so much to use this shade underneath my brow bone and my inner corner now We are going to skip from the eyes and move back to the face So I'm going to be taking a my Mario Badesco facial spray and this is the new one that came out with the cucumber and green tea one And oh my gosh, it smells so good and I'm obsessed then I'm going to be priming my face with my smashbox photo finish foundation primer Which of course you guys all know I love so so very much now for foundation I'm going to be using two I'm going to be using my hourglass stick foundation and the Marc Jacobs foundation so I just mix these I love the coverage that these two give together as well as the color that they make it is perfect it just matches my face and my skin so so nicely so I'm going to be using a Sigma brush to blend it out and then I'm going to be going in with a damp beauty blender to make sure everything is nice and set and really into my skin Now 
now I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which, oh my goodness, has changed my life. I love this concealer. It is so bomb. And I'm just going to be using that to highlight underneath my eyes as well as my chin. Now, for this look, I am going to be cream contouring and cream highlighting, but I just wanted to cover up my under eye circles first and then get into that. So, also, I did take a little bit of that concealer and I used that to shape right above my eyebrows because I didn't do that before because I didn't have my primer and all that other stuff. Stuff. So I had to do that. I love shaping my eyebrows. Now I'm going to be going into my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just setting underneath my eyes just so they don't really crease up while we go ahead and use all of the cream contour and highlight. In the meantime, I love setting my under eyes right away so they don't crease and it looks really, really good. So I used to bake all the time, but I kind of switched from that. So now I'm going to be going into my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. And as you guys could see, this is super dark and not my skin color. So I use this to cream contour so I'm going to be cream contouring my nose as well as my forehead and then my cheekbones and once I'm done with that and blending that all out I am going to be going back into the Tarte concealer and using that to highlight and really clean up all of the contouring that I did <laughs> So I am going to be doing a nice little bake while I go ahead and use some powder contour. So I'm just going to be applying my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder anywhere that I highlight it. Then I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just really defining and intensing up that nice contour that we just did. And then I'm just going to be dusting away all of the bake and setting the rest of my face with that translucent powder. I'm going to be going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to be taking the banana shade which I love oh so much. I'm just going to be applying that anywhere that I highlighted just to really brighten up the area a little bit more and I never ever skip this step. I really love it and I feel like it does make a difference for me. I, I don't know it just does. Now I'm going to be going into my favorite Tarte blush in Exposed. It is such a beautiful shade and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. As for highlighter I got this new NYX duochromatic highlighter and oh my goodness you guys it is stunning I got it in the shade Twilight so just applied that anywhere that I would usually highlight and also the tip of my nose because I love that little disco bulb so going back into the little quad that I made at NYX I'm going to be first taking this light blue shade and just applying that into the first I'll say one-thirds of my lower lash line and then the rest of my lower lash line I'm going to be taking that really pretty royal blue color now this is one of my favorite parts this is where we get really really fun with it if the colors weren't fun enough i'm going to be taking this liquid nyx glitter in silver and just making basically tears so i made three and i just played around with them and made them as thick and as long as i wanted i love this so much it is such a huge trend and i love it now i'm going to be going back into my glitter glue and i'm going to be taking another glitter from nyx in the shade six and just applying that into my inner corner and using that as the highlight for my inner corner i think it's so fun and i love it now i'm going to be adding some gems of course you could skip around these steps you could do all of this or not i'm just going to be using the glitter glue to apply that so i took these little gems and just applied them at the end of every single tier that i made so i applied a big gem small gem then a big gem now we're gonna go into some more gems so I'm going to be applying a five above each of my eyebrows so I applied first two big ones then I applied two medium ones and then the last one was a super tiny one and I just used my NYX glitter glue to apply that I'm going to be applying a few coats of my L'Oreal Telescopic to my lower lashes. Now to really tie this whole look together, I mean the lashes just really finish it off. So I'm going to be taking some of my favorites, my Ardell Wispies, and look at that transformation. Now for lips, first I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Crush. And then over top of that, really focusing it on the middle part of my lip, I'm going to be taking my Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in so cute and I love this combo so much. So 
that is it for this tutorial. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I am so happy with the way this turned out. I love the colors together, the glitter. I think it is so fun and so appropriate if you're going to a music festival. Sadly, I'm not going to Coachella this year. I'm definitely going to go next year. That is on my list of things to do. Next year, I'm going to Coachella, but everybody who's going to Coachella, y'all have fun. Y'all have fun. I'll be there in spirit. So once again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed already. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. So I love you guys all so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Stay